What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today I just wanted to talk about something absolutely insane that I found online. Basically this dude ended up stowing away in the landing gear of an airplane and ending up in Florida from Guatemala. This is just absolutely bonkers. I couldn't imagine what that was like but regardless I figured we could talk about it so without further ado let's go. Nice rack in her ass Brazilian just turned 21 but my bank's a million. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, I think the last time I heard of people, like, genuinely stowing away and getting, like, a, a free trip somewhere was, you know, back in the days of watching Pirates of the Caribbean on boats and stuff. Generally, stowaways on an airplane is a lot harder to do because of the security they got, and especially stowing away in the landing gear is crazy dangerous because of the high altitude and low temperatures, but I guess for uh, this dude, it was worth the risk. Stowaway in landing gear of plane lands in Miami from Guatemala. I don't know what this dude was trying to get away from, but obviously it has to be pretty horrifying if you're willing to, like, jump into the landing gear of a plane to try to get away, right? This is just something I think everybody knows is dangerous, right? Like, not the entire extent of it. I guess come to find out that, like, a vast majority of people that tried to hide in the landing gear and go somewhere don't make it. So this has got to be a pretty, like, high desperation play, dude. Not to mention, like, they've got to do something about the airport this came from. The security guard's got to get reprimanded. How are you going to let somebody get onto the tarmac of an international airport, run over, and hide inside the wheel well without anyone noticing, dude? I think that's what's more crazy about this. I do hope the guy does make a full recovery, obviously. He seems fine. He survived, which in and of itself is crazy. I, I don't understand unless things go crazy what would happen now. But all in all, I just feel like sharing it with y'all. A 26-year-old stowaway arrived in the landing gear compartment of American Airlines Flight 1182 from Guatemala City to Miami International Airport Saturday. A video from only in Miami Dade shows a man sitting on the ground as airport personnel aids him and gives him water. Yeah, dude, he definitely needs water. He was just in the landing gear of a plane at 40,000 feet for a couple hours, man. Like, I can't imagine what that was like going through that, dude. I know the higher up in altitude you go, there's literally less oxygen, and I know it's crazy cold up there. And, like, you know, based on the video that uh, I saw, the picture I saw, he's just in, like, a jean jacket. He did not pack well for this trip. I don't really know how you prepare for a lack of oxygen and, like, sub-zero temperatures other than wearing, like, a, a thick North Face jacket and a can of oxygen but I will definitely say I'm surprised that like you know the jean jacket was enough to keep him going from this entire flight I don't think people understand how dangerous it is to stow away in the landing gear dude there is a statistic at the end of this article that really puts it in perspective but like I, the fact that this dude survived is incredible good for him seriously and like I said he clearly has to be trying to get away from something really bad if he's willing to be you know hiding in the landing gear of a plane so I'm hoping they give him a chance to at least explain why he did it because I'm guessing it's got to be a good reason if it's not a good reason then this is just the weirdest daredevil of all time like imagine just like oh I was bored like you better have a good reason to be trying to sneak into jets the individual was evaluated by a med emergency medical services and taken to a hospital for medical assessment a spokesperson for the US Customs and Border Protection said in a statement persons are taking extreme risks when they try to conceal themselves in confined spaces such as aircraft NBC6 investigator and pilot Williard Shepard says that based on his flight data the temperature in the gear dropped by about 100 degrees, so this person was in there for a time period, probably about two hours, where they were subjected to sub-zero temperatures. Yo, man, this is definitely a, uh, a far cry from, like, being in the plane, dude. Like, uh, this is what I'm saying. This guy has to have been, like, r running away from something absolutely horrifying to be willing to throw himself in there for two hours. Guatemala to Miami, you know, it's not the longest flight ever, but I feel like any period of time's a little bit too much to be in sub-zero temperatures without being prepared for it. Whether it's, like, one minute, two hours, six hours, that still sucked. That's definitely not a pleasant experience. I'm surprised they don't have, like, a sensor in there or something, like a security camera with a little bit of an infrared, because I, I feel like this has become a problem multiple times. This is not the first time I've heard of this happening. So I feel like at a certain point, you know, the aircraft's got to start having a security measure just to make sure that nobody's in the cargo hold or, like, the landing gear, because, yeah, I agree, this guy was very fortunate to be alive. I'm very grateful for that. Like, don't get it twisted. I'm, I'm very happy this guy survived. But if we know for a fact that there's, like, a, an 80% chance that anyone that 
that tries to do this dies at a certain point I feel like you gotta you gotta put a sensor in there right and I know I know there's gonna be people in the comments if you're dumb enough to climb into the landing gear blah 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 but like you know I don't think many people necessarily understand the idea of oxygen being thinner way up there they can't breathe they know it's gonna be cold but I don't think anyone expects a hundred degree drop in temperature in like 20 minutes there's just a lot of stuff that like yeah if you know you know but if you don't know then you're not really prepared for it it's probably better for the companies to like just put a thermal sensor down there you know like it, it, come on like a little a little sensor is not that not big of a deal Former American Airlines pilot Wayne Ziskel says he once had a stowaway on one of his flights said beyond freezing temperatures is just one, e one of the many reasons stowing away is dangerous. People lose consciousness because of the lack of oxygen or hypothermia or of any of those, and then when the gear comes back down, they fall out because they're not wedged in properly or don't hold on, and then... They fall out of the airplanes to their death usually. It's a very tragic thing. As of February 2021, a total of 129 people have attempted to stow away since 1947, and of those 100 people, 78% died. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, the odds of this ending up the way it did in this situation is not very large. You definitely should not be trying to use this as a method of travel. I feel like at this point, you know, the fact that he survived this entire trip and, like, the, it was he had a climbing in the landing gear to get here, you gotta let him stay, right? Like, if there's a 78% chance that this ends up in death, if somebody survives, that's crazy enough. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Clearly, there's some desperation to uh, not be where he was if he's climbing into landing gear, and if you survive, the trip I feel like you get like the, the the golden ticket like the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory golden ticket because the odds of this happening is just so small like 80% of people die if they try it die and I didn't even think about the fact like if you pass out due to lack of oxygen and the thing opens back up there's really not much underneath you to catch you is there other than the sky this entire situation is just wild bro so many things that can go wrong this guy had like his luck skill and fallout uh, absolutely maxed out for this journey in order to be able to not have any of these complications, dude. Immigration attorney Angel Lee Leal said that the man will now be detained by authorities. He'll be detained by the Department of Homeland Security. He says the man may also be f facing an expedited order of removal. And then at that point, if he's in fact a person who's trying to flee persecution and wants to request asylum, he'll be afforded the opportunity for credible fear interview before an asylum officer, but more than likely he'll be detained during that process. So like, I, I don't really know how all this works, but at least he's going to get a chance to explain what's going going on and why he was stowing away to like get away from something to an official I don't know how that entire process goes down I'm not gonna claim to know how that process goes down but for his sake I hope everything works out dude I really do you know because uh this is already crazy enough if if whatever you're getting away from makes you desperate enough to climb into landing gear I can only assume it has to be absolutely horrifying I don't know the details but uh I just thought this story was absolutely bonkers moral of the story do not try to use the landing gear to get places Places because yeah there's a very solid chance you're falling out of the plane or dying it's not worth it but uh yeah if you guys thought this story was crazy be sure to press the like button let me know in the comments section down below what you thought of the video and of course subscribe if you're new and turn on those notifications if you really want to help me out check out the link to the intro song down below along with the link to my podcast the scuffed cast or of course you could use code scrubby at the g fuel checkout great way to get a discount on g fuel and help me out i'd really appreciate it and last but certainly not least i got two things to plug you can check out the story time spotify i uh, put a bunch of my story times up on spotify Y'all can check that out. Link's gonna be in the description. And we also got the Karen Christmas sweater, the coolest merch to ever exist. That link will be at the top of the description. Be sure to go check it out. I would very much appreciate it. It's very cool, cool. And uh, yeah, on that note, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.